uh, over the past days, I have really been uh, saying anything because we're really trying to control uh, that kind of engagement because there's a lot at stake. So what I would hope is that we are able to get back around the table. Um, obviously, no doubt, we feel like something has moved here, progress has been made, and now we hope to uh, achieve that for our staff at PBL as well. And well, we have been here without the mostly unfortunate events of that Wednesday afternoon two weeks ago. Their approach, I believe, is, is what has created this day. From the day of privatization, they have used their bodies literally to defend their right to be on the waterfront in a dignified and in a stable wage earning, living wage earning profession. So I, I, I believe a maximum credit due to the stevedores uh, for the way that they have approached standing up for self and the courage with which they have done so. Words the Prime Minister uttered may have gotten the port to the table. Um, can you clarify? I believe that the uh, government and the Prime Minister's involvement um, obviously would have an impact. I mean, come on, the, that the, whole, the whole movement. We felt that we were in the middle of a lot of movement up top. Um, like we said it, that we were in the middle of a storm. Uh, there's uh, high waves, heavy wind, but we have to keep our eyes on the compass. And the compass is that the stevedores gave us our marching orders at the Union and said, it's time for CBA. We are very encouraged by the, the respect that we were able to maintain in the room. I have to give thanks, especially to lead negotiator, Mr. Godfrey Smith, uh, who I believe uh, brought good energy to the room. He's fresh to the room as a negotiator on their behalf. And we really kept the ball rolling and stayed focused.